So with that said, so that was the first thing that we talked about. So we talked about, you know, the meeting culture. The the other thing that, you know, I think is interesting in, in changing meeting culture, it's got to be really easy for you to interact with fellow and keep it in sync and up to date. You know, a lot of fellow was when, when we first started, it was really teams like small teams using fellow now, like, or, you know, departments, organizations, large companies, everybody's starting to use Fellow. And one of the things is we want to make it really easy for you to keep Fellow in sync with the tools that you use, right? The worst thing in the world is that if you, if you want to change your meeting culture, the worst thing is like this tool is separate from other tools and it just doesn't stay in sync with your HRIS. People do org structure changes, you know, people change teams. That stuff just has to stay in sync. And up until now, a lot of people have been doing these things manually. I think it, it, it was really time to change that. So, mm -hmm. you know, imagine you're, you're a fast growing company. You just hired 50 people. You know, how do you keep that, that information up to date in fellow? What we've done is we've added a lot of new sections into our workspace settings page. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is the enhanced manage users section. What you can see here is that, you know, before you always had the ability to add a new user, but now what you can do is if you go to more actions, you can see that there's two new options that allow you to do things in bulk. One of them is import users from CSV file. What's really nice about this is you can download the template and you download the template, you edit it, you throw in the email addresses, the fields you want, you upload it back and everything gets updated. What's really cool about this is a lot of times people change teams and so managers may change and, you know, fellow needs to know who whose manager is so that we can set up the one-on-ones correctly as an example. And this is a way to just bulk do that. And it, you know, it's very easy to do and, and something that we, we strongly recommend it. And now the CSV makes this a lot easier. Similarly, like, you know, org structure changes, if people are no longer part of the org and you want to deactivate some people, again, the deactivation template will also allow you to do that. But the whole idea is using this and using the template, it's going to become super fast to import users. I know a lot of workspace admins must be doing a happy dance right now because they were requesting this feature a lot. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to say, like, it used to be very annoying to do this one by one. This bulk import is going to make it a lot easier. You know, we've always had things like HRIS sync, if you use a Bamboo HR or something like that. But if you didn't use an HRIS, we didn't have a bulk import. So now we do. So yes, that is definitely worthy of celebration. So along those same lines, though, we also have this other thing that we're calling managed teams. So teams, like teams are a construct in Fellow. Anyone who uses Fellow for goal setting or for OK, ARs, you know, you, you've seen us launch that in the past. And what's really nice about that is fellow allows you to embed your OKRs and goals right in the meeting where you actually discuss the stuff the most. One of the things is a lot of times, for example, you might have some goals, but really like the marketing team has some goals. The, the challenge is like, you know, people, what if you hire new people to the marketing team? What if someone leaves this marketing team and goes works on another team? And how do you keep all that stuff in sync? So one thing we've done now is like, if you go to the new add new team button it, it's similar to before but you know i'll just call this say marketing org for example and when you do something like this you can do some fun things like select a parent team which which is useful you know team purpose location you know some things like that a handle but this is the new stuff so what's really cool about this is you can say I want this team to be based on, say, like if I wanted it to be based on you, mm -hmm. I could say based on Manuela. And so what this is going to do is it's just going to, right, there's two ways to do this. You can either import that you can add the users manually, or the other thing is you choose the manager. So in this case, if I choose you as a manager, what ends up happening is it's just going to import all the users on your team. And then once you press create team, it's a set it and forget it. You don't have to ever check oh, this that's again. Awesome. So if someone joins the team later in the year and they report to this person, that you selected here, in this case, myself, they would immediately join that team in Fellow. 100%. Yeah, exactly. So it, it's kind of a set it and forget it. Once you do it based on the manager, that's how it's going to be tracked. The other thing that you'll notice here is that there's also Google Workspace based teams. That's because we use Google Workspace. If you were using, if you were on the Microsoft suite, it would have the Microsoft option there. 
And of course, there's also Octo. The idea being that if you have these other tools and you already have teams set up in them, if you have those teams in, inside a fellow, like those teams can just sync with whatever you've got going on in those other systems. And so again, it stays in sync. So you only have to update things once you update it in Google Workspace or on the Microsoft suite, and then it's just going to be visible inside a fellow. Another really good addition. So, you know, you hire those 50 people, you want them to be in sync. Now you've got a way to do that. So again, and really trying to make it frictionless for you to be able to change the meeting culture within your company.